here we have one of the most famous books in, in the history of astronomy. Um, the RAS is very fortunate to own a very rare first edition of Nicholas Copernicus's De Revolutionibus, or in English, um, Revolution of the Heavenly Spheres. This was printed in Nuremberg in 1543, so only three years after the Astronomicum Caesarium was produced. Um, but obviously this was a revolution. It presented a new way of looking at the, at the universe um, as opposed to um, the Ptolemaic geocentric theory. Um, and here in the book you can see the very famous image with the sun at the centre and the, the planets rotating around and then the outer circle being the, the fixed ring of, of the stars. It's quite interesting because obviously for, for a book that's you know, come to have so much significance um, the binding perhaps looks a little scrappy but it's actually a good example of a practice that was used at the time um, where um, books were, were made um, by the printers and then uh, they would be bound later. The book, uh, the book binders was a completely sort of separate enterprise and, and often people who bought books would choose um, their own bindings and uh, with their own crests and so on. Um, but obviously books did need covers of some sort so it was quite common practice to um, use old manuscripts. Obviously we're still less than a hundred years after the, the invention of printing and I suppose at this time there were a lot of manuscripts lying around which were possibly seemed to be a bit old hat um, and they often found themselves being reused as, as covers for, for printed books um, so you can see that here.